Today, I'm going to be taking a song from the Sonic the Hedgehog soundtrack and I'm going to be remixing it. Now, the song that I'm going to be remixing is called Marble Zone, which is from the original Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, for anyone who is not familiar with the track Marble Zone, here is a little clip of what you've been missing out on. Oh yeah, doesn't that just sound good? Anyway, now that you are all familiar with the song, let's go ahead and start remixing it. So to kick things off, I'm just going to drag in the Marble Zone MIDI file. Just like that. That is looking pretty good. Now I just need to bring in some very basic placeholder synthesizers and stuff like that. Just so that I can actually hear what I'm working with because at the moment, it is silent. Oh yeah! So now that these instruments are sounding horrifically average, I'm actually going to start bringing in some drum samples and I'm just going to start building up a very basic drum beat. So we will take this one here. This one here sounds pretty good. And maybe just this one here. There we go, that should do. Yes! <laughs> now that is sounding just a little bit plain. I think next up I'm gonna start bringing in some extra percussion sounds just to really help fill this beat out. It's sounding way too empty at the moment. Oh yeah! That is sounding a whole lot better, now I think it's time to move on and actually start working with the instruments. First of which is going to be an 808 for the bass line. What a surprise, I bet you never saw that coming. Now that I've got my 808 loaded in, I'm just going to bring in the MIDI clip from the original bass line. Oh, that is not sounding good. I think I'm going to have to change it up a bit. So to fix this, I'm just going to be using all of the lower notes of this MIDI clip. So I'm just going to get rid of all of these ones here. Get rid of these ones. And that should be good. So now that I have all of my notes, I need to go through and arrange them into a better pattern because this one here isn't sounding too fresh at all. Yeah. That sounds much better. Now I think the final tweak that I'm going to be making to this 808 is I'm just going to add in a few different sliding notes. So I'm just going to put in a note over here. We will also put one... I'll put one up here as well. And then I'm just going to put another one back down here, and that should be all. So the last thing that I need to do is I just need to go into my control settings, and I just need to turn on glide. And that should be all. Oh yeah, that sounds good. While we're still on the topic of bass lines, I'm actually going to take this original bass line from the original MIDI clip, and I'm just going to drag that down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a little plucky synthesizer. I think that will work pretty well. So I think the first thing I need to do is I need to bring in a better synthesizer. I'm actually just going to bring in this pluck sound, which I've used in quite a few other songs. I might need to change it out later, but I think it could work. Now that I have my sound, I just need to put it up a couple of octaves because it is way too low at the moment. Oh yeah. That is actually working pretty well. I think I might actually keep the synthesizer in here, but there's only one thing that I'm going to do, and that is just make all of the notes the same length. So all I have to do is just quantize them like that, and we should be good to go. Oh yes! I think that sounds pretty good, so I'm actually just going to leave it as is, and I'm just going to move on to the next instrument, which I think is going to be the melody. So for the melody section, I might actually just duplicate this pluck sound that I already have. Now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring the melody from the MIDI file down onto this track, and let's see how it sounds. Oh, yeah! I think that works pretty well, actually. So there isn't really that much that I want to change about that. I might add on some other tweaks later on, but for now, let's move on to the last instrument, which is just going to be some chords. So to make this a bit easier, I'm just going to take the MIDI file from the 808, and I'm just going to drag that onto a new track. And now I just need to start stacking up some notes to make some chords. So there we go, we have our finished chords. Let's go ahead and have a listen to what they sound like. Yeah! Nice! Yeah, they're sounding pretty good. So now that I have the MIDI file for my chords, I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to put it over a few different instruments. So I've just brought in these two synthesizers here and this is what my finished chords are sounding like. Yeah! So as usual, I've gone ahead and I've put on all of the finishing touches off camera. So yeah, here it is, my finished remix. Enjoy!
right, there it is. That is my finished remix of the song Marble Zone from the Sonic the Hedgehog soundtrack. I'm actually super happy with how it turns out, but I'm a little bit annoyed because it is a remix and I can't officially release it as a real song. But maybe I'll end up recycling some of the elements from the song to make a real song. Who knows? We'll see. Anyway, I think that is going to wrap it up for this video. Let me know down in the comments if there is a soundtrack that you would like me to take on next. And yeah, I'll be back in the next couple of days for my next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.